Yo, what is up guys? My name is Eric and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool trick slash game slash scam that only involves three cards, hence the title Three Card Monty. But if you're going to do this to your friends, do not say it's a scam and do not try to steal their money because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. So let's just get right into the performance. So I have these three cards here. I have a Joker, another Joker, and the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is going to be the money card. The goal of the game is to keep track of the Ace of Spades. Right now it's on top. If we take it and move it to the bottom, where is it? If you said the bottom, you're wrong. The Joker's at the bottom. If you say the top, you're wrong. The Joker's at the top. And if you said the middle, you're wrong. The Joker's in the middle. The Ace is actually at the bottom. We'll make it easier. If the Ace is at the bottom, where is the Joker? The top? Ace is at the top, Ace is in the middle, Joker's at the bottom. You may think I'm cheating and I'm using more than three cards, but as you can see, there's only three cards on the table. Easy. This one's easy. I have a Joker, I have an Ace. What card is this? A Joker? You're wrong. It's the Seven of Diamonds. That's the trick and let's get right into the tutorial. Alright guys, this is the tutorial for the three card Monty. You only actually do need three cards. You need the Joker, the Ace of Spades, and a random card. I prefer a red card because it counteracts, it contrasts the black. And for the Joker, if you don't have a black Joker, use the color Joker, but preferably use the black Joker because it, it works better. So... The setup for the trick is you want to have your red card, or whatever card you're using, the joker, and then the ace. Okay? So if we look from the back, this is the red card, that's the joker, and that's the ace. Alright? That's the order. Okay? What you want to do, you're going to show the joker twice. You're going to have to do a double lift. So how I get my double lift, I go, I have three cards here, and I have, I show the two cards on my opposite hand from the hand that I'm going to catch a pinky break with. So I show the three cards, and then I place the cards on top of my pinky, and then I do a double lift, and I still maintain that break with my pinky when I flip it over. Double lift, close, set down my red card, and then from here you can just show the joker, flip it over, set it down show the ace of spades set that down and make sure you set it down so you can get it in the order you need it in a certain order all right so from here you're gonna have to catch another break under the two cards so again i, well, I do the same thing i want to pick it up i catch a break under two cards and then i show the ace the ace is actually at the top so i just show the ace but i keep the break so i show the ace and then I set down the ace, and now I have my break. I take the two cards that I have and place them at the bottom. So right now, the ace is actually at the middle, okay? So you ask them, where's the ace? If they say the bottom, go ahead and show it. They're wrong. It's a joker. But say they say the middle or the top. You still show the bottom either way. So it's in the middle. You say, you're right. It's not at the bottom. And then you're going to have to show the top. And to show the top card again as a joker... What you're going to have to do is take your pointer finger at the top, uh, put it at near the top of this card, slide it down a little bit, and keep your thumb at the bottom of this card. So right here like that. Take your middle finger and place it on the other card underneath it and push them up together. And with your what your thumb does, it, it stops it at the bottom card. So right now, it's only the middle card sticking out. And what this allows you to do is if you pinch the bottom, and you just hold your grip like this it takes two cards you just took the top and the bottom card so one more time pointer finger and thumb slide it back a little bit take your middle finger place it on the card underneath push up and then pinch the bottom and just hold your grip like this and if you just slide it out and then flip it over you just took two cards the top and the bottom so now you're holding two cards and right now I have, uh, you can't see it, but there's like a break right here. I'm holding a break. So you're holding a break, again, over two cards, or under two cards. Show the joker, double lift close, spread again, 
look at the middle, show the joker, and the ace is actually at the bottom. Okay? So wherever they say, like, if they don't say the bottom, they say middle or top, just show the bottom first, show the top, then show the middle. Because it will just show joker, joker, joker. So don't actually show the spot they say, unless they say the bottom. If they say bottom, then you can show it. But if they say middle, show bottom, do the move, show top, then show middle. And then show the bottom again that the ace is actually at the bottom. Okay? So from here, you go, if the ace is at the bottom, where's the joker at? If they say middle or top, you show top first, then middle. If they, like, say the middle, say they say middle, you show top, then middle. Say they say top, you show top, then middle. Either way, what they say, you go around it, and you just do the same moves over and over. So, ace is at the bottom. You want to do that glide, the slide move again. Show the ace at the top. I kind of flashed right there. Do a double lift again. And then show middle, ace in the middle. Then show the bottom, the joker's at the bottom. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast, go ahead and rewind. I'm just trying to not make this video so long. So the joker's at the bottom. Then you're gonna say, you think I'm cheating, I, that I have more than three cards. And even if they don't think you're cheating, you'd still have to do this anyway. So be like, you might think I'm cheating and I'm using more than three cards, but look, deal out three cards and you're reversing the order, okay? Once the order is reversed, your red card or whatever card you're using that's not an ace or a joker is at the bottom. So you show the joker, then the ace, and then you ask them, do you know what card this is? Do you, okay, this is easy. What card is this? You're either going to say joker and ace, most likely joker, but then you show it. It's the seven of diamonds or whatever card you're using. You're basically avoiding that red card, your other card, throughout the whole trick until the last part. I'm sorry if I went too fast or you didn't understand directions. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comment section below. I will try to make it clear as possible, but it's only the slide moves that you have to worry about. And just watch my performance over again so you, if you forget what to do or forget what to say, you can um, watch again from the performance. But that's been it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, leave an, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Make sure to hit that notifications button. And yeah, that's been it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.